Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing so well. We have got a belter on our hands today. This is such a highly requested video. You've been asking me to talk about clothes and fashion and show you guys what's in my wardrobe for ages. Recently, my body has gone through a, a quite a dramatic change and I've gone from a size 16 to a size 10. So all of my clothes no longer fit me. I was really conscious to not buy any clothes whilst I was going through this sort of change and whilst my body was changing because I didn't want to waste the clothes. I didn't want to buy clothes to then have to repurchase clothes. It's bad for my wallet and it's bad for the environment. So I basically just made the clothes I had work until they weren't working anymore. I have recently done a little bit of shopping um, for this kind of transitional summer into autumn period, which is a one of my favorites for fashion. So I'm very excited. And I just thought I'd share some of the pieces with you. You will have already seen quite a few of them on my Instagram because this is basically my wardrobe now. This is like my capsule wardrobe of clothes that fit. Will I add to it? Yes, of course, but I'm also living out of a rucksack for the next six weeks. So I'm really cutting back what I'm buying and what I actually own and it's really nice it's really refreshing i've got stuff from loads of different brands here so let's just get into it everything is linked down below if you're new hello and welcome please subscribe i would love it if you would yeah let's go let's start with what i'm wearing i picked up this jumper i bought it off of asos i can't actually remember the name of the brand but obviously it's it's down below to me this screams autumn i actually based my makeup off of this jumper today there will be a tutorial on this look coming soon if it's not already up this is coming it's this gorgeous like duck egg blue with like this beige brown and pops of mustard. I love the color combination. I love that it's got these kind of cuffed sleeves so it's a little bit puffy and balloony. It kind of ties in really well with my hair. It's pretty soft and it's pretty warm. I'm actually quite hot. It's significantly sunnier than I thought it was today. It would go really well with jeans tucked into a little A-line skirt. I really want to get a nice A-line leather skirt and tuck this into it with some ankle boots. I think that would be such a vibe. That's all I have to say about it, to be honest. Here is the jumper. Um, I thought I'd show it to you just out. You know I'm a tucker. It's such a lovely shape, nice and tight at the wrist, nice and baggy on the sleeves. Lovely high neck. I really love a high neck. It's my favorite shape. And it's just got such lovely colors in it. It's so autumnal. It's perfect for this time of year. I love this shade of mustard as well. It's so bright, but also just ties in so well with all these neutrals. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm just gonna pick up what's near me. There is no rhyme or reason. This next item you will have seen, I think a couple of times on my channel. It is this gorgeous wrap top. You won't be able to see it very well, me showing you like this, but you'll see it in the cutaways. So it's got cuff sleeves. Again, a really lovely puffy balloon sleeve. As you can see, it is open and you just tie it around the front. I know that might seem like a bit of a strange choice coming into the winter, but I've worn it so much already just on its own with a bra underneath. I don't mind if you can see my bra, but also I'm gonna wear it in the winter with the turtleneck underneath, wrap it over the turtleneck, tuck it into some jeans, big chunky necklace and it's instantly ready for the winter, you know? Nothing like a little layering piece. That is that, and that is lovely, and that is linked down below. Okay, here is the wrapped crop top. I thought I would show it to you, like, just on its own, how it looks when it is tied. So you can see bra, you can see boob, you can see a lot of chest, but it is so lovely. It's such a gorgeous shape. The sleeves are super, super cute. And again, this pattern is just so lovely. And it's just a, such a gorgeous shade of sagey green. I just love it. I've worn this so many times already and will continue to wear it even throughout the winter months. I feel like someone commented on my picture that it was a collaboration with like an Instagrammer or something. So if that is the case, that's pretty cool. This next item I am absolutely in love with obsessed in love and love obsessed it is this gorgeous dress from and other stories it is like autumnal tie-dye you guys know i'm a sucker for tie-dye i own so much tie-dye but tie-dye makes me think of the summer but this dress these shades to oh those colors are just stunning to me it's like a mustard and a 
a teal green tie-dye maxi dress. It's lovely kind of silky fabric and it hugs your body so well. Shift dresses are massive at the moment, but they're quite up down. You'll see I've got a couple. <laughs> I'm a little bit into dresses at the moment, who am I? But this one has loads of movement at the bottom. It tucks, it like nips you in at the waist, which most shift dresses don't. And I think that's why this has the edge on the others. You'll see it when I try it on. I would also do this up with a belt to make it a little bit more like daytime appropriate. It's got this gorgeous, gorgeous lacy detail at the top to make it a little bit more sexy. It's just so soft. And these teeny, teeny, tiny straps. I would wear this on its own on an evening or I'd wear it with like a t-shirt underneath, belt around the waist, trainers, and that's a daytime look. I wanna get as much wear out of this as I possibly can because I just am so obsessed with those colors. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes and more yes. Look at how this dress moves. Look at the bottom. It looks like water. It's absolutely gorgeous oh wow and it is so flattering it literally hugs my body it's like it was made for the shape of my body oh you can see my pants not ideal and these colors it's just too much it's got the gorgeous lace here now i just need somewhere to wear this oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. love this dress oh I haven't tried this on yet. A lot of these things I haven't tried on yet and it's kind of like a first impression because my misguided order arrived this morning and I sat straight down and filmed. The next item is a shirt dress, which is very, very different for me, but I thought I could make this look really cool. You literally can't see this. <laughs> Basically, it is a shirt dress with a panel going across. It's long sleeved, it's cuffed, I would undo a few buttons, loads of jewelry, maybe white shoes, maybe some knee high boots and just make it a really kind of model off duty look, you know? Like when girls just wear a shirt dress and they look amazing and it's like, if I wore that, I would look like I was going to bed. I'm gonna try and make myself look cool, okay? We'll see, if in the cutaways I look like I'm about to get into bed, then I failed miserably. Okay, we're on to the shirt dress, very creased with black underwear, so don't mind that, but I love this. I think this is so sexy. I love like the look of throwing your boyfriend's shirt on and heading out the door. This gives me like proper boyfriend shirt vibes. Oh my God, I love it. It fits so nicely as well. It really hangs well. Perfect length. Yes. On the topic of white shoes, these aren't very autumnal, but they are amazing. You will have seen these on my Instagram. I picked up another pair of Birks, Birkenstocks. I have a pair of gray ones, but I wanted a pair of white ones. They just look so effortless and chic, and I wanted to wear an all white outfit, and I didn't have any shoes that weren't trainers. So I picked up these, and they're so comfortable. You know that Birkenstocks are so comfy. They literally mold to your feet. And obviously I'm gonna get loads of wear out of them in Southeast Asia. Not so much when I come home, because it will be winter when I come home. <laughs> I don't wanna think about it, I don't wanna think about it. I really, really like these. I wore them the other day with a piece that I'll show you in a second, and my dad was like, you look very summery. I was like, I feel it. Thank you very much. It's the Birkenstocks. <laughs> Birkenstocks are cool, okay? I think some people don't think they're cool. You're wrong. Birkenstocks are cool. I picked up a couple of little basics. This first one is a bodysuit from Collusion and it's inside out. It's just a little stripy bodysuit. It's super, super um, minimal, a little bit skimpy. Again, you could wear this over a t-shirt or just wear it out solo if you want to. And I really like it. It's got a low back, but I just thought this would look nice with shorts, with jeans, with basically anything. It's such a basic. It's really, really thin, really stretchy. I bought this for Thailand because I'm gonna be hot and sweaty and it's humid and I'm a sweater. So I just want things that basically cover as little of my body as physically possible. Here is the little striped body. Like I said, it's so simple, but it's something that I'm gonna wear so much while I'm away in the heat. It's just so light, 
so thin. I love its low scoop back. So yeah, that is the stripes. Another basic. It was the right way around. I've just, no, it's important. What am I doing? This is from Miss Selfridge. It is a square necked body. I really like a square neck because you show off quite a bit of chest without showing off loads of boob. But I do like to show my collarbones. I like to highlight my chest and, you know, get a little bit of skin out. I think a square neck is a really nice way of showing off your decolletage without getting your boobs out. And it's just a really flattering cut. It's just a long sleeved cotton black bodysuit. It's just an essential, okay? It's a basic, it's an essential. I feel like it doesn't need five minutes of a haul. Here's the square necked black body. I love the shape. I think it's such a sexy cut whilst remaining modest. You could wear this like day to day, you could also wear this in the evening. I absolutely love the fit. It's super duper flattering. Oh, this next item is very exciting. I didn't actually buy this one. It was kindly gifted to me. This is a piece from Megan Ellaby's clothing line. Megan Ellaby is a fellow YouTuber. She's a blogger. She's a designer. She's fabulous. I absolutely love Megan. Kindly sent me out one of her designs and she has loads of stuff now. I've got three of her jumpers. They're so gorgeous. I just love the colors. I love the little piping, the green. It's such a lovely shade of green. And pink and red is my favorite color combination in the world, so that's always a winner in my eyes. And it's just a super cute little t-shirt. And this is her logo. Thought I'd give that a little mention. I've worn it so much since it arrived. All right, here is Megan's t-shirt. I really love this. It's very fitted. Like if you want something that has a little bit of give, you might have to maybe size up. But it fits me like a glove. I absolutely love this. I love the colors. And I'm feeling it with this lipstick. Good job, Megan. <laughs> I think you've probably seen this a couple of times already, but I've got another dress from And Other Stories. It is another midi dress, and it is this gorgeous, gorgeous, oh my God, I love it. It's like a cobalt blue leopard print, micro leopard print. It's really, really small, dainty print. A little scoop neck, spaghetti straps. It's a nice heavy fabric, so it hangs really really nicely on the body but i was i cinch it in at the waist because again it's just a little bit more flattering on my shape and then it's got two big slits on either side which again for me being five foot three and a bit it's a little bit daunting wearing a midi skirt sometimes because i look super super short and it kind of cuts my legs in half showing a little bit of leg is just a little bit more flattering for me um, I wore this to a party the other night and everyone was so nice and complimenting me like it got a lot of attention I think it's the color. It's just such a beautiful shade of blue and especially with a little bit of a tan It's just a look and I absolutely loved I felt great in this. Okay, here is the end of the stories dress Look at this color it's extremely creased because I have actually worn it and I wore it with a belt so it's all ruched in the middle. I got so many compliments on this. It is the perfect casual summery dress that you could also then bring into the autumn winter. It's just such a beautiful colour and it feels so 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 soft. I love this so much. This next piece is a little bit sexy. <laughs> so this is very much inspired by Lydia Millen, Lydia Elise Millen Gordon. <laughs> I watched one of her vlogs recently. She was wearing this corset skirt and I was like, I need me one of them. I don't have a, a Lydia Elise Millen Gordon bank account. I don't, my budget's not quite there. One day, maybe. So I went to ASOS to see if there was anything same, same, but different style. I saw this. So hers was nude. Hers was more, uh, more Lydia. Mine's more me, more black. <laughs> it's this gorgeous corset style skirt. The stocking clips as well, which I really like. Um, I don't actually think I'd wear stockings with it. I think it's a step too far for me, but I like that they're there. I think it's really cool. It's super, super flattering. It just pulls the eye down the center. It really gives you like a, you get me? <laughs> no, it gives you curves basically. And the back, it's like unlaced um, eyes. It's really thin and it's made of mesh. So it is see-through, completely sheer like 
around the whole front. There's also hook and eyes all the way up the back so you can undo it from the back if you so wish. Am I Lady Release Millen yet? Excuse that. Here is the kind of latticed skirt, I guess you could say. I've worn it with the body because you can see that it is completely see-through. So I think actually a body is a really good way to go with this because it makes you, because it covers everything. You won't have like any really obvious lines. I really like this. I will be keeping it. I was really digging Lydia's like sexy secretary chic look. She was wearing a white shirt tucked into the skirt. So... Again, I went for a more cost cost effective option and went to Misguided and got this, again, you're not going to be able to see it, this sheer chiffon shirt, sheer chiffon shirt, sheer chiffon shirt, say that 10 times over, sheer chiffon shirt, sheer chiffon shirt, it's really hard. It's like a tunic, it's open at the front so you could wear like a kind of sexy bra. Let that peek through if you wanted to. Cuffed sleeves and it's quite long. So to be honest, if you were a little bit insecure about how see-through the skirt was, it's probably the same length as the skirt. So if you just pull it all the way down, it will be like a backing for the skirt. Very soft, very floaty, very simple, but very elegant. A sheer chiffon shirt is, pretty, is uh, pretty elegant for me. Okay, here is our chiffon, chiffon, a sheer chiffon shirt. I really like this. It is, it's quite booby. Very much like a low cut kind of sexy secretary jobby, which I have nothing against. Sexy secretary in a sheer chiffon shirt. Sexy, se sexy, se sexy secretary in a sheer chiffon shirt. It's pretty good. <laughs> Sleeves are quite long on me. Quite a cool look. It's also so oversized this is like a skirt on me i don't know i kind of like it like this actually okay next i've got a shirt a top that i love and i've been wearing so i've been wearing it so 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 much it is this lovely little ditzy print shirt from oasis again i got this in a size 10 Everything in this haul is a size 10, by the way, if you're curious, absolutely everything. And it's this really, really on-trend neckline, which again, you can't really see, but you'll see it in the cutaways, which I love. It's similar to a square neck where it, you know, shows quite a lot of your chest, but not a massive amount of cleavage. Quite fitted to the body. It's like a heavy chiffon. It's quite thin so you can tuck it into things really easily it's really tight around the wrist and then again has these puffy sleeves i love a kind of peasant um top really bohemian and relaxed and chilled and puffy <laughs> so i really really love this one it's quite um sweet like i feel very sweet when i wear it and i absolutely love it okay so here is this gorgeous little ditzy print floral top Shall i open this window does that make it better or worse? Sorry if it's made it worse. Um, as you can see, it's such a flattering neckline. It's got a lot of chest out, as I said when I was talking about it, but it's not overly booby, which I love. Lovely little sleeves. And it's super thin, so really easy to tuck in. I am completely in love with this top. I think this is like my favorite outfit i have bought in the longest time and i know you guys are going to be in love with it it is a suit and it is a skirt suit it is this gorgeous lilac with mustard and like a berry and this skirt is mad flattering it really just sucks you in at the waist it really skims out your stomach it's a nice length it's not too short and i would wear it on its own but then if you really want to rock everyone's world, I have the matching blazer and this is incredible. I'm going to wear this so much. I love this color. It's very different for me. It's quite spring. So I feel like I'll be able to wear this next summer, next spring for the rest of my life. It's got padded shoulders, which I love. Give you a little bit of shape and it is a kind of oversized boy friendly fit. It is double breasted. You can make this really fun and playful or you could make it quite sexy for the evening. It's just the coolest thing and I'm so in love. I know you guys are gonna love it too. I can feel it in my bones. Here's the star of the show in my opinion. I mean come on come on i love the fit it's so oversized but the skirt is so 
sexy and it fits me perfectly it actually fits me like a glove and then this is exactly the shape i like in a jacket in a blazer that is super oversized and you could do it up and make it a little bit more corporate if you wanted to put it with a little bit little pair of heels but i would wear it open with trainers to suit my style i've already worn this twice um, I've worn it to two different events already and one of them I wore it how I'm wearing it now just really 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 basic so good <laughs> the flat upstairs is for sale and you have to walk past my window to get to their garden so when I'm filming I'm just like hello I talk to a camera for a living good day I got a pair of shorts this is for my trip but I'd probably wear these in the UK with some fishnets. I reckon that would look really cool. They call them like boxing shorts. They're like the baggy oversized fit. And it's this like shiny satin. I mean, if, if I put it in the sun, which is chasing me. It's like a satin shiny texture, elasticated. It's got a pocket in the back and they just hang off your body. Quite masculine. And I think with some fishnet tights and some boots, I think that'd be a really cool look. I'm gonna take these on holiday with me for nights out, day to day, basically all the time. They're so comfortable, they're so soft. I love these boxing shorts. They are so comfortable. They're also surprisingly flattering. Obviously they do nothing for my bum. They make my bum look about as flat as it's possible to be, but they're super loose and lightweight and they will protect me from the dreaded chub rub. <laughs> I've just put it with the vest top and I feel like this is gonna be an outfit that I'm gonna wear over and over and over and over and over again in Asia because it is gonna be hot. This next piece is kind of similar to the ASOS sexy skirt. It is the misguided sexy top. Now it's arrived, I can almost tell you for certain that my boobs are not gonna fit in these boob allocated holes but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try so the whole back is sheer as well as the sleeves it's long sleeved i thought this would be super sexy for clubbing in the uk with just like a pair of jeans and some like black heels just keep it really simple and let the top do all the talking so it's either gonna look amazing or it's gonna look real bad. The sun is giving me away that I need to clean my table. For God's sake. <laughs> this next item is definitely in my top three favorite things from this haul from Licorice. And it is this stunning shift dress. Look at those colors. Can you see that? It's a really basic, um, quite a classic shape, just a shift dress with long gathered sleeves. And it's a really, really light, thin material but the thing that did just really sell it to me is the colorway this gorgeous orange and blue it's absolutely stunning it's so bright so colorful so bold it makes me so happy just so happy <laughs> stop it this is gorgeous i do think you're either gonna love this one or hate this one i love it look at those sleeves it's the perfect length it just skims over it's so soft and those colors are gorgeous i'm also really digging it with this red lip i think if i wear this i will be wearing a red lip with it this is 150 percent staying this is so perfect little red boots maybe really go for the clashing Mm, 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 mm. This next one is a little bit of a a risk. It may not suit me, but you gotta take risks. I can send it back if it doesn't. It is this dress from Yas. A high-necked, ruched, peasant style dress. A tiered midi dress. Black little polka dots. It's this lovely soft blush nude. I just really loved the neckline and again, the ruched sleeves. I'm just apparently really predictable. <laughs> this is either gonna look amazing and boho and gorgeous and I'm gonna feel super cool and effortless in it or I'm gonna look like I'm going to the dairy farm. It will go one way or the other, but it just looks so lovely on the model, but I'm no model. We'll see how it looks. We have hit the peasant dress. What are we thinking? So. 
I really, I just, I love the top. I think it's really, really sweet. I think it is the length that's putting me off. I do really like it. And I think maybe with some ankle boots, a leather jacket, it might really like edge it up a little bit. But I asked him like, do I look like a peasant? And he hesitated. He said no, but he hesitated, which for Tim often means yes. <laughs> process what she's asked me. Is this going to offend her? I'll say what I should say. Let me know. Right, we've got another little number here, a little skirt from Misguided. I haven't tried this on yet, but it's just a basic um, midi skirt with a little slit in it. Very much a basic, something that I'll wear all the time with jumpers, t-shirts. Um, I just felt like it was something that was very much missing from my wardrobe. Okay, I've just tried on the maxi skirt and it is a little bit too small, I think. It kind of gathers in weird places. So when I walk, it just ruches up, which is definitely not flattering. I want it to hang and it doesn't. It kind of just ruches up. Not cool. So yeah, this will be going back. Maybe I'll get it in a different size. It just doesn't have the movement I want. It is quite rigid. We've got another hit or miss item here. I am not 100% sure on this and I think I might send it back purely because I can't tell whether it looks like I am a millionaire wandering around my house waiting to kill my rich husband and I, you know what I mean? Like it gives me that kind of Donald Trump after dark kind of vibe rather than the chic bohemian look that I wanted it to give me, but let me show you it. <laughs> it's this kimono, it's from ASOS, but it's their ASOS, is it the Kenya collection? I love the colors, this is what drew me to it. It's this lovely royal blue with quite a bit of purple in it actually, and then a mustard yellow, and it's covered in like chickens. But the thing is, is it's really long. So it's kind of like dressing gown territory. It's like a shiny, light material it does look a little bit like a dressing gown but i just really liked the colors and i thought you know maybe i could make it work but i've tried it on a couple of times and every time i'm, I'm a bit like mm, i look like i'm about to have a bubble bath onto the dressing gown how i've styled it here i really like it it's not as dressing gowny but I feel like there aren't a lot of outfits that I can wear to make it less dressing gowny. Like from the back, it literally just looks like I'm wearing a robe. Do I love that? I can't tell if I love it. What do we think, you guys? I love this outfit. Like I'd wear this outfit without even questioning it. I can't keep something for one outfit. Even though this is the most basic outfit in the entire world, which makes me think that if I just wear really basic outfits, I can just make instantly cool with my dressing gown hmm oh but it's so soft and the colors are so nice i've finally hung everything up you can tell i haven't filmed these in chronological order huh what do we think you guys let me know down below it's just so long on me this next piece got a lot of attention on my instagram it was from misguided it is so simple it is just this little white jumper dress it's ribbed across horizontally, it's got a high neck, it's got long sleeves, it's extremely see-through, so I would recommend wearing either nude underwear or I wore a pair of white cycling shorts underneath, just to keep my dignity, because I had lunch with my grandma in it. It is quite see-through, but it's super flattering, and my grandma was in love with it. We are onto the jumper dress, very, very popular among you guys. As you can see, it's very see-through. You can see my pants, and also my bra, but that's okay. Just obviously wear nude underwear or whatever. Just dress accordingly for said jumper dress. It's just such a lovely fit. Lovely high neck, such a perfect length on me. I love the ribbing. It just gives it a little bit of texture. It's just very, very 60s mod, very twiggy, and I absolutely love it. I have two more suits from Misguided. I think they're both gonna probably go back because I don't need a pink suit and a lilac suit. But I just wanted to try this one. It's a bigger check and it's a boyfriend fit, very similarly to the ASOS one. But I really liked the color. It's just pink and again, like a an off brownie berry color. Again, a nice oversized fit, double breasted. And this is a trouser suit. It's just some little cigarette pants little cigarette trousers. They look very small. I feel like these aren't gonna fit me. They're not gonna fit me. That might have been my question answered, but just little tapered trousers. We'll give it a go. Hopefully it fits me because I really like the color, but if not, 
wasn't meant to be. Okay, the pink suit trousers don't fit. They're too small for me, but I thought I would show you the jacket because the jacket does fit me. I actually really, really like the color and the fit of this blazer, so I might just keep the blazer Wear it with jeans, wear it with dresses if I'm feeling girly because pink isn't really a colour I wear a lot of. But I like the pink with the masculine shape. So, so maybe it's a look. Right, the other suit I am 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to return just because of how it feels. So this is a gingham suit. It's out there, it's bold. I don't think I'm gonna keep it for a start because I think it's even bold for me. But also, it feels so cheap. It's really not very nice quality. But I just really liked it on the model on the website. It doesn't even have a button. It just feels scratchy and itchy and not particularly nice. And it's not the oversized fit that I would usually go for. Some cute little trousers with a little built-in belt that you would tie in a bow, kind of like a paper bag style. So I really like the trousers. Again, these feel very small, so I actually don't think they're gonna fit me. We have one last dress, the last item in the haul. So it is this brown satin. If I put it in the sun, you can see it's real shiny like a coppery brown satin slip dress a midi dress and it's got this gorgeous lace detail which i think is just so sexy a really 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 high slit like this comes up to like pant line make sure you're wearing like a thong it sits really nicely and again i would belt this just to hit like cinch it up a little bit just because i'm quite short but it feels really soft. Again, it's really heavy, so it hangs nicely. Did I say this is from Motel? It's from Motel. Again, you could put a t-shirt under it, a turtleneck underneath it, wear it as it is. Slip dresses are just so versatile, and that's why I've got so many recently, because I just want to be able to wear them day to night. Here is the Motel dress. This one, the neckline isn't quite as flattering, but again, I would definitely belt this. Let me do that now. That's a bit more like it. Just a little bit more flattering, cinches me in at the waist, and it also lifts the slit a little bit. I absolutely love how big the slit is, but it's sexy. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is all of the new bits I've recently treated myself to, to restock my wardrobe. I am so in love and excited about all of these clothes which is so nice treat yourself to some bits that you absolutely love so i'm super excited to wear them i will style them up for you guys soon i think i might do like an outfit of the week video and share that with you that is it that is the video <laughs> i've linked absolutely everything that i can down below for you guys if you want to check any of them out they are affiliate links but i'd really appreciate it if you'd use them but you don't have to if you're new please subscribe Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what is your favorite item from this haul. I always like to know what your favorite is. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.